Kelsey and Kendra and today we're going to be doing a candle haul for you guys all of the brands that we're mentioning are black owned brands we have three different brands here we're going to talk about mm -hmm. and a lot of different scents so we're gonna let you guys know what we got and we picked out and Kelsey actually found all these sites yeah so there were a lot more that I found but a lot of the other sites were sold out so we're here with three different brands for you guys. And if you guys are new to our channel, you probably don't know that Kelsey and I are pretty obsessed with candles. Like it's one of our favorite things to collect. We actually have a candle cabinet and it's kind of excessive, but we love candles. I just love the mood that they bring to a room. They just change the vibe. They add nice lighting and they make the room smell amazing. So what's not to love? Okay, so the first brand we're gonna mention, I heard a lot of good things about this brand. This is actually the most bougie out of the entire haul, this particular brand. These are a little bit more expensive. Uh, the name of the brand is the Harlem Candle Company. I got four different scents. They have a ton of scents on there, like a lot of different variety. Basically something for everybody. Okay, so this first one I'm gonna mention, this one is in the scent Sugar Hill, and this one is in Essence of Sparkling Citrus. So when you open each candle, it has like a card in here with the actual candle that you purchased in that particular box. And on the back of the card, it has all of the notes. So I love the details. I like reading descriptions, but I also like giving my own interpretation because sometimes Ooh, whatever you're reading, yeah, by the way, this one's gold. How pretty. Love that. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, this one will look pretty anywhere in your house. Like the aesthetic of their candles, Love. They make for great decor pieces too. Mm -hmm. Like I just love how like good quality this is. Like the glass is super thick. Like look how thick the bottom is. Yeah, it's really nice. Really nice. Kind of reminds me of my uh, Cavaldin candles, but these are a little bit bigger than the Cavaldin candles, just a tad. Uh, okay, so the notes just says, bright neroli and crisp lavender, tempered by honeyed vanilla and crystallized sugar, make for a deliciously sweet ending. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do smell the citrus and I smell the lavender and a hint of sweetness. It's more of a clean sweet. So I'm assuming that's where the mm -hmm. citrus and the lavender come in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's not like a heavy sweetness, not a very food sweet. It's not like a gourmand kind of sweet. It's more of like a, a crisp sweet. I love how clean this smells. Mm -hmm. It's clean. So this smells good for like the living room or the bathroom. I, think so. I feel like you can do like either or with this particular one. Mm -hmm. Super nice. Okay, so this next one is called Speak Easy. And I love the purple accent on this one. So Kelsey read all these notes and she decided that these were gonna smell good in person. So, <laughs> oh, this one is bomb. This one is my favorite. I've already smelled all of these. So this one says Essence of Bourbon and Palo Santo. Palo Santo is like one of my favorite scents right now. I'm obsessed with the smell of Palo Santo. Candles, it has like that woody Palo Santo smell, but a hint of sweetness in there. It's a little bit peppery. It's yes. very fall smelling. Very fall. And I love this purple packaging. Okay. Like I'm trying so hard not to like steal this and put it in my room. This for because the living room. I know, I know. I'm just gonna order myself more. Yes, I'm definitely gonna order like five more of these because I want some for my bedroom. It just smells so cozy. It's like the perfect cozy scent. Like a night in with some wine your fireplace on. So this yes. is perfect for fall, mm -hmm. like obsessed. Even though I will probably burn this year round because I love cozy scents anyway. And I love the pretty purple packaging. It was like a nice plum, like a mm -hmm. rich plum. It's so good. It says it has fragrant notes of Palo Santo, bourbon, like I said, dark chocolate and plum blossom. So that's also what mm -hmm. I'm smelling. I smell the plum. This is, this is lit. Favorite so far. So far, this is like my number one. So I'm gonna keep comparing the rest of these scents to this because I knew you would like it. Okay, so the next one is called Savoy Essence of Tropical Enhancement. Oh, Enchantment. <laughs> okay, I like this one. Oh, kind of clean. Another clean mm -hmm. scent. It smells like a clean, like Saturday morning. It smells like what you would like right after you clean on Saturday. Yeah, this is the perfect after cleaning the house scent. Mm hmm. Oh, so we were right, it is clean. It has tart mandarin, black currant, crisp green apple, juicy pear, and it has jasmine petals and sandalwood. So that sounds really nice. Yeah, super clean, very fresh. It smells like a plug-in. It does. Mm -hmm. I like Glade. Yeah, a little bit. In a good way, not in a bad way. Mm -hmm. I like this a lot. And this was like a chocolate brown. I love that packaging. The packaging, that's pretty too. Okay, so this is the last one from the Harlem Candle Company, and this is called Love, and it's the essence of roses and sandalwood. And this one says, inspired by James Baldwin. 
Yeah, this one is a special edition candle. So I don't know how long they're gonna have this particular one on there. Mm -hmm. So this one is very clean to me. And it says it's inspired by his book, If Bill Street Could Talk. I haven't read the book nor have I seen the movie yet, but I heard good things. And that's why it's called their love candle because obviously I'm assuming the storyline is a love story. And it says it has sandalwood, so it's warm. And it also has a garden St. Paul de Vent smell, whatever that means. Kelsey, it's not her favorite because it's more floral. Yeah, it's very And it floral. does have some florals in it, but I like that it has like a very clean smell. I it's like very clean, clean rose. It smells like clean roses. Yes. It says with, with a smoky base of sandalwood. I don't really smell anything smoky. No, not really. Like for sure, this uh, Speak Easy is definitely more like the smoky family. The uh, purple one. This packaging is But the is packaging though. is gorgeous. Yes. It's just gold and white. Mm -hmm. So pretty. It can go in any room. Yes, it does say this is a 22 karat gold decorated candle a vessel. So the actual packaging is made from 22 karat gold. I would honestly just use this to put like brushes in or mm -hmm. that would be use pretty. it to put in my bathroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would still keep the actual packaging because I love how pretty it is. And I love the quote on the side by James Baldwin. It says, love brought you here. So I thought that was nice. Okay, so the next brand is called Afterglow. And this particular brand, these are coconut wax candles. So uh, the Harlem Candle Company, those are soy candles. Most candles are like soy based, uh, but I thought that it was unique that these were coconut wax. I got five of these from this particular brand. Now these names, I'm probably gonna butcher more than half of them, so bear with me. So uh, this first one uh, is called Timmy, or is that a J? Timmy, it looks like a J. Anyway, this one has lemon, green tea, and mango. <laughs> this one smells super fruity, very fruity. It kind of smells like a really good hair product. Very <laughs> fruity. You mm -hmm. sm I smell the mango the most in yeah. this. I don't smell any green tea, because I feel like green tea I've smelled green tea candles with that scent in it and they're relatively clean. That's not really that clean, that's more fruity. Yeah, definitely more fruity. Mm -hmm. So this one's nice. I really like the smell of this one. Okay, this next scent is called Nahoj and apostrophe H-O-J. Probably butchering that. But this one, the notes are tobacco, bay, and sandalwood. So this sounded like something that was like right up our alley. We love like Warm. these type of scents woodsy like any kind of woody scent it's not that strong like smelling it here maybe it'll be stronger when we burn it because uh -huh. it's not that strong uh, it's a little faint of a smell mm -hmm. but it's still not bad yeah it's not bad I by the way i love this one so far i do love that one more by the way i love how rustic their packaging yeah, is it's really pretty yeah so, i like how like distressed it looks yeah it can go in any room yeah i love love the look of it like if you turn it this way and like sit it on a book Oh, yeah, that, that would be cool. really cute. Yeah, this one is called Nila. Ooh, probably wrong again. But this one is pineapple and coconut. Sounds tropical. It smells like a pina colada. Okay, it makes me go. like want a good drink on the beach. Definitely. Like this makes me want to go on vacation. Very tropical. Yeah, tropical. And this next one is called Ray, and the notes are patchouli, fig, and bergamot. Hmm. This one is nice. This is very manly. This is like a masculine scent. Okay. Very fall. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this one. I think this is my favorite so far. Mine too. Because mm -hmm. of course, like the fruity ones, they just smell fruity. Mm -hmm. They're but, very simple. Yeah, but this one smells more like unique to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like this one Yeah, a lot. I can't wait to see how this one burns. Yeah, this is good, definitely for fall. Mm -hmm. And then this last one, I didn't realize it was gonna be this big. It's very large and in charge. This one is called Kadu, and this is sage, linen, and citrus. Look how big this is. It's huge. Ooh, this smells very homey. You can smell the linen for sure. It smells perfect for the living room. I love the linen. Smell. Like the common living space, this is perfect for that. Uh -huh. So this is my second favorite. Well, actually, I like them just as, like I like These Ray two. and Kadu. Remember that sea salt candle we bought from West Elm? Oh, and it was like white, it and I was like pretty like I was uh, kind of disappointed because it, candy candy. it didn't burn that strong. Yeah, it but does it smell like that. Very similar to a West Elm candle that we bought a few years ago. So I hope this one's stronger, and it's three wick, it's like larger. So hopefully, no, this does smell like that. Yeah, right. And we were so excited to burn those candles when we first moved into this house, and we burned them. It was like I don't smell that. They were barely. They were not that strong, and they yeah. weren't cheap because it's West Elm, so mm -hmm. they weren't cheap candles. Okay, so this last brand. 
came today actually. They just got here like 45 minutes ago. We were waiting on these to film this video. Mm -hmm. They took kind of a long time. I don't know if I got my phone over there, but it took almost a month for these to get here. It took like three weeks. Maybe it has to do with like, you know, COVID. I'm pretty sure it's because of COVID. Um, but I got one, two, I got seven of these, but I got two of the same scents of two of them. I don't know if I said the name of the brand. The brand is called Scent and Fire. These are also soy candles, like the Harlem Candle Company. And these had really unique names. Like when you're scrolling, they had super unique names. Their newer scents were all like quarantine related mm -hmm. scents, but they were all sold out, so I couldn't get any of them. So now this first one, um, well these particular ones, they're white. The packaging is like white and amber. Amber. Like amber glass. Yeah. All of them come with a little amber, amber glass. Jar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this particular one has like the white detailing. And this scent is called Southern Beignets. And the notes of this one are butter, sugar, vanilla, and cinnamon. And you can, this one is strong. Like as soon as I take the top off, you can kind of very sweet. smell it. This smells super sweet. It's like pumpkin the, pecan waffles. This is definitely in the pumpkin pecan waffle family. I have yeah. never found a candle that smells that similar to it. Kind of like cupcake too. It's a little cupcakey, so hopefully it's not too sweet burning. But I still smell the Y'all have ever though. smelled like the vanilla cupcake candle that Bath and Body Works had like a long time ago? Yeah. Remember the cupcake candle? I remember that one. It's very similar to that, um, but I feel like it's very seasonal. So it's not something you want to burn like every day. Yeah, this is perfect for fall. Mm -hmm. So this one smells bomb. I wish I would have got two of these. The next one I did get two of, so this is the same one. And this one is called Incense and Head Wraps. Love that name. Love the name. The notes for this one are amber, rose, dark musk, and sandalwood. This is very fall and winter yeah. together, like Christmassy mm -hmm. smell. So it's a little bit, if you ever smell leaves from Bath and Body Works, yeah. very similar to that. And winter by Bath and Body Works. Yeah, it's like that in combination. So it has like a hint of like mintiness. Yeah, I smell mint too. It's like minty, but also warm. Yeah, it is warm. That's the amber, probably. Yeah, it's the amber and the sound of wood, I'm sure. It's nice. It's really nice. I don't smell any rose. I don't either. But it's really good. It's really good. Yeah, I, I like love it. this one. Oh, I can't wait to burn this. Oh, that's really good. Love this smell. Okay, so this next one is called Dapper Gentleman, and it's the black and amber packaging. Yes. I love this combo together. I love like a good amber kind of jar anyway. Amber goes with a lot of decor. Yes, it's neutral. neutral. Mm -hmm. um, and these tops are, the packaging to me, they look like jam. I don't know why, they just look like. Jam? Yeah, like a jam jar. Oh, okay, like preservatives. Yeah, like preservatives. Gotcha. Yeah. Because of the top, probably. Like the actual tin looking top, mm -hmm. it's really cute. But this one says, it has oud, amber, musk, and tonka. And when I read that, I was like, it sounds like right up my alley, because I love Woodsy smells are like masculine and I like a hint of sweetness. It's, it's not masculine. too strong though, cause some masculine scents kind of give me a headache a little bit mm -hmm. if they're too strong, but this is just enough intensity and it's like soft too. So it's like soft enough for like a, a female to like it too. Yeah. I like it. This is like a universal scent. You can put this in any room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is good. I like this. And then the last one is called Southern Mint Julep. I also got two of this one as well. And the notes for this one are mint, grapefruit, and vanilla. So as soon as I read the notes to this one, I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love this one. I smell the grapefruit for sure. Ooh, that is super clean. It's a very crisp citrus smell. Like this is good to burn right now before summer is over mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's super like yeah. fresh and juicy. Kind of making me juicy. thirsty. Mm -hmm. You can smell the grapefruit for sure. That's the most prominent scent in here. And I just smell a little bit of the mint. I really don't smell vanilla though. Maybe mm -hmm. we'll smell it more when we burn it. Right. Yeah. Really nice though. Love all of those. So hopefully all of these candles burn yeah. long. Yeah. And I hope they don't burn super fast. That's the only thing that annoys me about Bath and Body Works candles. Yes. They don't burn that long. They don't have that long of burning time. Okay, so that wraps up this candle haul. I'm really excited to try all these candles, but I already have a feeling I'm gonna have favorites from all these brands. Of I course. can already tell that I'm gonna like gravitate more towards one scent from each brand. We already have, and we haven't even burned them yet. Yeah, so I'm excited to see how these burn. You might catch these in an upcoming favorites video. You never know. And we will link all the brands in the description box if you guys wanna check some of these out and purchase them for yourself. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one.